Zelensky's presence at the G7 summit was a bold and strategic move that showed his commitment to strengthening Ukraine's ties with the West and securing its sovereignty. By meeting face to face with the leaders of the world's most powerful democracies, Zelensky demonstrated his confidence and charisma as a leader who can stand up to Putin's aggression and defend Ukraine's interests. He also sought to gain more support and solidarity from the G7 countries for Ukraine's reforms, integration and territorial integrity. Zelensky's decision to attend the summit in person was not without risks. He had to leave his country in a state of high alert, as Russia continues to amass troops and weapons near its border with Ukraine. He also faced potential threats from pro-Russian separatists and terrorists who might try to exploit his absence and destabilize the situation in the Donbass region. Moreover, he had to deal with the pressure and expectations of his own people, who are looking for concrete results and guarantees from the international community. Zelensky's decision to attend the summit in person was also a sign of respect and gratitude to the G7 countries, especially the United States, for their unwavering support and assistance to Ukraine. He wanted to show his appreciation for the Biden administration's efforts to revive the strategic partnership between the two countries and to increase the military and economic aid to Ukraine. He also wanted to express his hope for a more active and coordinated role of the G7 countries in resolving the conflict in eastern Ukraine and deterring further Russian aggression. Zelensky's decision to attend the summit in person was a clear message to Putin that Ukraine is not alone and that it has powerful allies and friends who share its values and vision. He challenged Putin's narrative that Ukraine is a failed state that cannot survive without Russia's influence and protection. He also showed Putin that Ukraine is ready and willing to cooperate with the West on global issues such as climate change, cybersecurity, human rights and democracy. Zelensky's decision to attend the summit in person was a historic and courageous step that could have a lasting impact on Ukraine's future. He proved himself as a leader who can represent his country on the world stage and who can inspire trust and admiration from his counterparts. He also opened new opportunities and possibilities for Ukraine's cooperation and integration with the West, which could bring more security, prosperity and freedom for its people. One of the most significant moments of Zelensky's trip to Japan was his visit to Hiroshima, the city that was devastated by an atomic bomb in 1945. Zelensky laid a wreath at the Peace Memorial Park and met with survivors of the bombing. He also delivered a speech at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum, where he expressed his solidarity with the people of Hiroshima and his admiration for their courage and resilience. Zelensky's visit to Hiroshima was not only a gesture of respect and compassion, but also a symbolic message of hope and determination for Ukraine. As a country that has suffered from war, aggression and occupation for many years, Ukraine can relate to the pain and trauma that Hiroshima endured. But just as Hiroshima rose from the ashes and became a symbol of peace and reconciliation, Ukraine can also overcome its challenges and achieve its aspirations. Zelensky said that he came to Hiroshima to learn from its experience and to share Ukraine's vision for a peaceful and prosperous future. He said that Ukraine and Hiroshima have a lot in common, they both value human dignity, democracy and freedom, they both strive for nuclear disarmament and nonproliferation, they both seek to heal the wounds of the past and to build bridges with their neighbors. Zelensky's visit to Hiroshima was a powerful reminder that even in the darkest times, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. It was also a statement of confidence and optimism that Ukraine, like Hiroshima, can transform its tragedy into an opportunity for growth and development. Zelensky's message was clear, Ukraine is not a victim, but a survivor, not a problem, but a partner, not a burden, but a leader.